Hi, I'm Vivian Singletary, Director of the Requirements Lab at the Public Health Informatics Institute. This video features our collaborative approach to developing requirements for an information system. We refer to it as Collaborative Requirements Development Methodology, or CRDM. Thank you for coming today and welcome to- Collaboratively gathering requirements means leveraging the collective wisdom of the people who do the work on a daily basis. Before requirements are even gathered, a business understanding of the work must be established. Now that we've completed the business process matrix, let's move on to the task flow. In this approach, people come together as a group to discuss and create a picture of the work process that occurs at a public health agency. The group discusses who participates in the process, what types of information are exchanged, and how the work gets accomplished. Collaboration is important because you get a larger sampling of the way work is done. The group has to come together and build consensus versus just relying on one opinion. And through this collaborative thinking and sharing, everyone becomes a stakeholder in the process. In the public health context, collaboration means bringing together people from within a program or an agency, or bringing together people with a similar role from different agencies. It can be done on any scale. We've brought together multiple public health agencies to develop requirements for reportable conditions and disease surveillance system, and we've worked with 10 different countries to develop requirements. These collaboratively developed requirements served as the basis by which many of the participating countries chose to develop their own national health insurance information system. The most important point about bringing people together is that it's the actual people that do the work. This helps us make sure that we collect the information that is as detailed and accurate as possible. During a work group meeting, we use different graphical and text-based tools, such as a task flow diagram or a business process matrix. This helps illustrate the work processes. We bring in drafts of these documents to start the group dialogue. It is an interactive discussion. Work group members will often write directly on the drafts. Sometimes we split the work group into smaller groups. Small group discussions are valuable to help ensure that every voice is heard. When the ideas are presented to the larger group, other people can help cross-validate and offer new ideas and perspectives. This collaborative approach enables agencies to reach agreement and use common vocabularies and definitions to describe their business processes. And it also provides an opportunity for, for different people to review and learn from each other's approach. This commonality enables agencies to collectively gain and articulate a clear picture of how information systems can support the work that they do. This eventually leads to defining requirements that would effectively support the work of public health whether it's a common solution for multiple agencies or a specific one for one health department. For more information and a detailed walkthrough on our collaborative requirements development methodology, log on to phii.org slash CRDM.